Friva is an Italian yacht brand that builds some of the finest yachts in the world. These yachts are extremely special, and the one in front of us today is the 2019 38-foot Riva Mare. Inside, you just have one cabin. This boat is built perfectly for day cruising and speed. It would also make a suitable weekender boat. This yacht is listed for sale by Aspire Yacht Sales. They granted us access on board to do a tour. One thing you'll see on this yacht, you have gorgeous handcrafted mahogany paneling all across the front of the yacht. It's 39 feet officially in length. It has a beam of 11 feet and seven inches and has two Volvo Penta engines, but we'll see those towards the end of the tour. Let's just go ahead and get on board and appreciate the beauty of this yacht. We're gonna slip our shoes off real quick. And right at the back, you'll see these steps here that lead you on board. And this area also folds over and forms a little swim platform. And I'll show you what that looks like later in the tour. And then stepping on board, you have sun pads on either side. And underneath here is where you find the engines. So once again, we'll flip that up later in the tour and show that to you all. We'll take a step over here into the boat. And then I think we'll just turn around. You can see you have this beautiful table with the stainless steel accents and this can fold over so everyone around the seating area can eat at the table. Or of course you can fold it in half and increase the space right here. You also have storage underneath these seats. So that's a nice little touch there. And I noticed that Riva really filled up the space and added storage in so many different places or just functional uses. So let me show you a couple examples. First of all, underneath this panel, you have a sink built in. If you're trying to pour a drink, you can slide this out and you have your shaker right here, all purpose built. We have a refrigerator, actually, excuse me, this is just storage. And you have the drawer refrigerator on the other side. And then forward, of course, you'll end up at the helm station. You have twin lift bolster seats with the Riva logos. Yeah, I love how the Riva steering wheels look. Guys, a Riva, that's one of those yachts, like if you know, you know. And then you can see you have the joystick for the IPS engines. You have the bow thruster control. Then the rest of your throttle controls and switches are over here. And you also have controls for the sea keeper. So this yacht is stabilized. And then you do have all of the analog engine gauges as well, or you can monitor them from the Garmin multifunction display. So you get a little bit of old school, a little bit of new school, and of course the compass right here. So of course, you're gonna have a really well-equipped helm station. Then on the other side, there's also another lift bolster seat for your guests. And then this whole area can be covered by a canopy. And this is really cool. This is powered. So underneath this cushion here, this will flip up. And then with the push of a button, now right, guys, I'm actually gonna show it to you. So you see this switch right here for Bimini? You'll see the cushions coming up. It'll take a second to unfurl or unfold, but the Bimini top will come all the way across and cover up the entire open cockpit of this yacht. And this Bimini will slowly but surely cover us from the sun. And I think I'll actually leave this up for a while as we do the rest of the tour. It's a really hot day here in Palm Beach. Then you can see the channels that the Bimini top is housed in on the sides here. All right, guys, we're almost there. And then you'll see the cover automatically coming back down, basically like a sports car or a convertible. Nothing but the best on this Riva yacht. And now you can see the Bimini over this area, giving you some much needed relief from the sun, depending on when you need it. So that's a nice little feature there. And then I'm gonna head on to the Riva next door as well. You may have already seen that tour, but we're gonna get a shot of this yacht from that one. So you'll get a great profile shot and overhead view. But for now, we're gonna head down into the accommodation. Like I said, it's just one cabin and it's a convertible space, which makes sense. This yacht, I mean, guys, it's only 38 feet. So you have to make do with what you get. However, for a couple, this would just be perfect. If you step down here, you'll see the seating that wraps around this table. And obviously we're up in the bow, so it's a V-shaped. And then this table it can be lowered and then you throw a cushion on top and this forms basically a queen berth in this space. 
Additionally, over here we do have a TV on the wall. And then there are also some really large, they're currently closed, but these are powered as well. You have blinds that cover up these areas, and then you have strips of LED lights in the ceiling. So this is where you sleep. Let me show you the head, and then I'm gonna show you all the different compartments in here because you do have a good amount of them. Over here you have the day head slash, it's not really an ensuite, but the one head on the boat. So you have your toilet, the sink. Then they did manage to fit a separate shower stall. So good on them. There is a little bench and a teeny, teeny skylight. So if we look down, you'll see the bench down here to the left. And then across from us is where you find all of the different items for the galley. So I'm actually gonna set this camera down and let me try to give you a little interactive display of what we have going on here. You'll see the backlit stairs, that's nice. All right guys, so under cover number one, we have a hot plate or a single burner for a cooktop. So I wanted to make sure that was in frame, it probably was. Let me just show you real quick. So, cover number one. We have the single burner. Under cover number two, we have a sink. So let's set this back. And I think we can hold the camera for all the other items. All right, so what else do we have right here? We have the storage space under this one and the other one. One thing that's lovely is you have this leather stitched right onto these panels. You have more storage right here, a microwave in this one, then under here, you have an ice maker and a refrigerator. And then on the other side, once again, this whole door is lined in leather. You have all of the different plates in their rightful place. And this is backlit as well when you open the door. And then you have your switch panel underneath here for all of your electronic switches and breakers. So, of course, you're going to have limited space on a 38-foot yacht, but I think they did a pretty good job with this layout. You're not going to be spending long amounts of time on board. This yacht is really to get out on the water, enjoy the day, enjoy the speed. But you do have a champagne holder slash cooler right here, also under this leather panel, so that's nice. And that same handcrafted mahogany, you find that all throughout. It really is lovely. And then underneath this hatch right here, which you probably just noticed, you have a ton of storage space down here. And then that right there is the Seakeeper stabilization system. Like I said, the engines are further back. All right guys, so we're gonna put this bimini top down and then we're gonna show off the engines as well as that swim platform that transforms like I was talking about. So over here, you see all these switches are covered. So if we lift this, lift this up, we'll find the bimini button again. And as you'll see, like a convertible, it tucks right away. All right. Now let's head over to the Riva next door and get a beautiful shot from above. And then we're gonna take a look at the engines. So if we come aboard right here, look at this amazing shot of this Riva 38. This yacht would make an incredible super yacht tender. And as a standalone, it's out of this world as well. 
And here you'll see a good shot of the bow and all of this handcrafted mahogany. And you can see those large windows to the cabin below with the shades I was talking about. You'd be hard pressed to find a more beautiful 38 foot yacht in my opinion. But if there's something that can compete, let me know in the comments. I would gladly check it out. All right, guys, and as you can see, one of these platforms, similar to the Bimini Top, it's powered. And then we can take a look in here and see the Volvo Penta D6 400 engine. And I love how they embossed the Riva logo on there. And this has two Volvo D6 engines. Let me tell you a little bit about the performance. This yacht, like I said, they're 400 horsepower each. And on a yacht this size, you're getting about 40 knots as a top speed. So this yacht can truly fly comfortably, comfortably. You can cruise at 33 or 34 with a couple hundred nautical miles of range. This is a fantastic day boat. And like I said, you could definitely stretch it to a weekend if you wanted to. And then the platform in the back, as we mentioned, can also flip back. We can't flip it back all the way because we're at the show, but it can flip back forming a swim platform right off the back of the yacht. So that's a nice touch as well. So I love how it's designed on both sides with either the steps or the platform. Either way, it's beautiful. All right, so we're all closed up. And I think we'll wrap up the tour right here. Thank you to John Boosin at Aspire Yacht Sales for granting us access on board. I'm gonna link this listing down in the description if you wanna see it in greater detail. We will catch you next time.